Hey guys, it's Tori here, and so some of my favorite videos on YouTube are the story time videos because I just love hearing all of the crazy and exciting things that happen to people, and I realize that, you know what? I have some pretty interesting stories too. So today, I'm doing my first story time video, and it's gonna be all about the first time my bus broke down on Warp Tour 2015. So let's just dive right into it. I was really lucky with the people that I had on my bus that summer. It was me, the Warped YouTubers, so Brian Stars, Johnny Gilbert, Jordan Sweeto, and Damon Fizzy, along with their tour manager, Andrew, who I like to call tour manager, and their merch girls, Olivia and Hannah. Love you guys and a few other Warp Tour production staff that made their way on our bus as well. We had 12 people in total. We were also really lucky in the sense that we went for almost the entire tour without any bus problems, where I've been hearing a lot of horror stories from other friends of their buses breaking down, but we hadn't had any problems until the night happened. I think we were on our way to Maryland Heights, I believe. I just remember it was around four in the morning, I was sound asleep, and then I wake up and the bus is suddenly just not moving. So that's a really weird thing in itself because we drive overnight from city to city so you you'll normally be in your bunk and you'll hear the rumble of the bus moving and it rocks a little bit which is nice like it helps you sleep but no it was silent nothing was moving I'm just sort of laying there wondering what is happening but I was not about to get out of my bunk to check because I'm tired and lazy a few minutes later I hear the dreaded words come from Andrew our bus captain and youtuber tour manager and he just goes hey Tori Wake up, the bus broke down, you need to get out. I was so bummed out, cause mind you, this was my first time on Warp Tour and my first tour ever, so I really didn't know what was about to happen. I didn't know how this works. When your bus breaks down, what do you do? Where do you go? And so I kinda roll out of my bunk and I'm sleepwalking at this point. Everyone is out in the front lounge, all the YouTubers, we're all just like in our pajamas, rubbing our eyes, just exhausted. And Andrew just says, all right, everybody, make sure you pack a bag for the next couple of days because we don't know when we're going to get our bus fixed. So you just want to be prepared just in case. So I pack a bag with clothes, toiletries. I had my camera bag and my laptop so I could do my job, makeup, whatever you need. And I also, of course, brought my Snuggie because wherever I was about to sleep, whatever was about to happen, I was going to be comfortable. I take all my stuff. We all get out of the bus and we are literally just on the side of the road, just on the side of the highway looking sad. The way Warp Tour works is that the buses kind of travel in packs, so when a bus breaks down, a couple other buses from the tour will just pick you up and then keep going. So there were a couple of buses stopped to pick us up, and I did not know whose bus it was, but I just knew everybody from our bus was about to split up into these two. And so I just hop on the first one, I'm like, alright, well, it could be anybody, this could be Black Veil Brides, it could be Asking Alexandria, it could be the PETA crew, for all I know, but this is where I'm staying for the night. So I get on along with Olivia, their merch girl, the YouTuber's merch girl, um, a couple other people from our bus, and then Brian Stars also walked on. And so I just sort of get comfy in the front lounge, while Brian Stars walks the entire bus, he goes from the front lounge to the bunk alley, all the way to the back lounge, scopes it out, and he was just like, nah and he got off the bus but I just remember hearing whoever was in the bunks in the bus was like Brian Stars, Brian Stars, oh my god Brian Stars is in the bus and I was like why are y'all excited calm down we're tired leave us let us be um, but yeah Brian Stars ended up not staying on the bus that night I think he just went to the other one that was stopped I just went back to sleep it was probably 4 35 a.m. at that point I go back to sleep because I'm exhausted curled up in my snuggie in the front lounge of their bus which was not the most comfortable but you make do with what you got. So then I wake up around 7 in the morning, and who is awaiting me to welcome me in the morning? Joe and Kevin from Knuckle Puck, eating their Lucky Charms, having breakfast, doing their thing. And I was just mortified, because I didn't really know Knuckle Puck super well. We had done a couple interviews, we were acquaintances, but there I am with like no makeup on, hairs all disheveled, in my pajamas, homeless and sad, busless. And, but luckily they were super cool about it. They were just like, hey, like, don't worry about it. Don't sweat it. Like, this happens. We know our bus broke down too. So, like, we totally get it. Don't worry. You can keep your stuff on the bus for the day and just hang out. Come in whenever you want. Which was really nice of them because, you know, every band, like, your tour bus is really your home. So, it was really nice of them. They welcomed us into their home so nicely. So, basically, I spent the entire day kind of going in and out of their bus to get my things as I needed to. And they were super fun. Like they were just playing video games through most of the day, Kevin was playing all time low songs on guitar, and it was just fun. They were super nice about it, which I want to thank Knuckle Puck for being great hosts. 
to all of us on bus. I believe we were 17 that year, bus 17 crew. You were wonderful. Literally five minutes before bus call, which bus call is the time that you have to be back on your bus because otherwise the bus is leaving without you. Five minutes before bus call, our bus shows up repaired and ready to go. So thank you to our bus driver, TC. You are the man and you got the job done just in time. We all got back onto our bus and all of us literally ran. We were like, yes, our home, it's back. We were so excited. So I just got my stuff from Knuckle Puck's bus and made my way back into my own cozy bunk and that was the end of the story. So that is the time my bus broke down on Warped Tour 2015 and I ended up having a slumber party with Knuckle Puck without even realizing it. So I hope you enjoyed this story time video and if you did make sure you subscribe to check out lots more videos coming up soon. We got some interviews happening, some makeup tutorials and all kinds of good stuff on this channel. So until then, I'll catch you later. Bye guys!